Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. I hope you enjoy my new intro. Uh, <laughs> YouTube has done this thing where they've gotten rid of their video editors. I actually edited that on YouTube. So I logged in. They did it on the 20th of September. So when I was uploading my last video, I realized my intro had disappeared. So I guess it was time to make a, uh, a shame in intro. <laughs> it was pretty fun. <laughs> Um, but yeah, today I'm here with two of my mates. I'm here with Mosul and Frenoff. Frenoff? Uh, we're in Sol B. It's quite busy here tonight. Uh, my friend Boopy's in here as well. Oh, he's a bear, apparently. But yeah, he got level 55. He got bear form, which is pretty cool. But we're in here. We're in the king room because Mosul needs his uh, Targon the Rock. He drops... What is it? A code, like that a book or something for the monk epic. So I'm here to help him out. And it's fantastic XP as well. So we're having a great little time in here. I'm level 42 currently. Um, I got pretty much 40 to... That was a pop. Whoops. So this, this this trio is super, super awesome. We have two monks. I'm going to throw a massive slow on him just for fun. Um, two monks. i got no idea what they're doing at the moment. Ah, boopy. Just let me know. Oh shit, Mosul just died. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> okay, I might hit but I might I I did get my JVB, but I wanted to have a talk about that, but maybe we'll figure out what's going on. I think there's a cleric in zone that can uh that can res him, so I'll hit record again once we're smooth sailing. This kobold's staring me right into my soul. <laughs> I'll see you soon guys. <clears throat> What's up, guys? Uh, I'm back. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, I did just eat a death, so that was unfortunate, but I th we've worked it out. We split the rooms. That initial split was tough because we had a bunch of shamans. We had a three pool of shamans, and FD kept screwing up. Oh, king room's clear. Uh, yeah, so I just wanted to show... I did get my, my JBB last night. Uh, I paid 9,000, paid 9k for it. I was really excited. A lot of people were, were posting out for 12k and I thought 9k might be pushing it, but I had seen it listed for 9k before and I got really lucky and managed to pick this guy up. I'm going to get back a little. I got, I'm worried about that. Uh, yeah, but in case, if you don't know why this item is so valuable, at level 45, the, uh, all the Kunak armor... Um, all the Kunak armor is clickable. So stuff like your, your Jaundice Bone Van Braces, they, they're like four or 500 plats, something like that. They're not amazing. At level 45, I can click it and get Furious Strength, which gives anyone basically a free strength buff. You know, which is a handy thing to have, but it's not game-breaking. Just saves you a little bit of mana. Kind of cool, because you can throw it on your pet, and you can just throw strengths around willy-nilly. But the reason the JBB is so valuable, I think it, I don't know who it drops off. I've certainly never killed him, so I'm not sure who it drops off. Does it drop off Venor Sathir? I can't remember. Um, but yeah, the reason it's so valuable is the click effect is my level 39, or is it 34? Level 34 DD. Which does 255 damage. And you can spam it. You can click it all you want. So basically at level 45, you throw a slow on a mob, put your pet on him, you stand there and you tank it, and you just keep spamming Winter's Raw. Well, you keep spamming, spamming your, your JBB. Um, which basically changes the way you play the, play the Shaman to at least level 50. After level 50, you know, it, it's not as game-breaking, but it still is valuable. 
um, I've been watching like uh, Bob's videos as I said before and you know it's a cool item to have even in, in your 50s if you're farming something or something's on 5% you don't want to waste mana using a DD you just click this and when you're in a duo like if I'm doing with one of these guys I can help out with DPS I've got nothing else to do maybe not in a full group you probably wouldn't want to do that but you know if if you're taking along you can you can use it for extra DPS Okay, I'm just going to root one of these. I don't know what's happening here. <clears throat> I'm scared shitless. <laughs> these monks like to keep it interesting, don't they? So I'm going to throw these uh, soul kobolds. They, um... They hit a lot harder, it seems. I'm sure if someone watching this is a high level and they've been here a million times, you're probably rolling your eyes at, at me right now, but I'm still in the process of learning. I think these guys are high level because they seem to hit a lot, lot harder. So I'm trying to throw a slow on them. I'm using my level 30... 29? 39. Slow. You know what? I might use the other one. I wish they had slightly different names. Tagar and Togor. I can never remember that. Oh, here he comes. So yeah, shaming in a double monk trio, I've got to say, has quite a lot of responsibility. And I'm, do I'm not doing a stellar job because uh, I'm not 100% focused, but I'm trying to do my best. But these guys know what they're doing, so I'm just kind of relying on them. There we go. I love slowing. So fun. Oh, I get fucked me. <clears throat> I was going to get a pet out, but I had a bad experience in Lower Guck uh, the other week. I summoned a pet, and as soon as I summoned him, he wasn't here. And I just got all hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of... Well, not hundreds, but, you know, the little text where they've aggroed you. And... Before, before I could react, I had I, I, I didn't have gate mem, so I put, I was, as I was putting gate in my thing, like 200 fucking mobs came and just one-shot me. So I decided uh, I might save a pet. In these tight dungeons, it kind of put me off, you know. Uh, yeah. But yeah, guys, it's been a really exciting week. I'm level 42, I got my JBB. I'm pretty much happy with my gear. Really happy with the progression of this character. I um, am flat broke, 30 plat, that's all the money I have in the world. Uh, but I do plan on upgrading a few more little pieces, I gotta pay some friends back for some stuff. But apart from that, yeah, doing really well. So now I can start saving up for my epic, I guess. <laughs> I was talking to my friend Boopy about possibly joining uh, Paradox, the guild. Because uh, they always seem like nice guys, they do that open raid on uh, Friday nights. And yeah, I'd like to get a part of that. I don't want to raid too hardcore, but you know, they seem like a casual slash hardcore guild, so I might join them, because if they can give me a shot at my epic without having to buy it, I'd be really stoked, because yeah, that would be a, a massive goal for me. Um, but yeah, apart from that, everything's going good, guys. Thanks for tuning in, and thanks for all the comments. I'll, um, I won't finish the video here. I'll probably add another video on the end of this, because uh, I don't want to make a whole video where I'm sitting in the same room. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you soon, guys. Cheers. Hey, guys, welcome back. I thought I'd get this little thing we're doing on record. Uh, Ferragut here, he reached out to me on YouTube and said, I hey, should come duo with my warrior. And his warrior was, I think in Kunak, I think it was in Dreadlands or something. So we met up here in Lakeville Omen. I'm at the Blood Gills. I actually did a video on my druid here. Fantastic spot. Really good XP and these guys drop so quickly. And it also helps that Farragut seems to be twinked out. He's doing so much damage. So we're just swimming around. I got a dead man floating on me so that I can breathe underwater. He's got an enduring breath item. And we, we're actually controlling the entire thing. There's 
three spawns down there, two, and then two on each of these pillars, and we have all of them. We're absolutely dominating. I need some work on my swimming skill, though. I mean, this camp's definitely not for everyone, because I actually really don't like swimming in games, because it's super annoying. <laughs> but we've got these spawns split really nicely. One spawns here, one spawns here, so we can get them one at a time now that we've split it. After this one, I'll just swim to the top so you can see where we are. But if you don't know this area, it's a really good spot for quadding, because you can pick up four really easily. Yeah. yeah they, just, they drop so quickly. Especially if you've got a melee character like him with a good haste item. And then I'm keeping my haste on him as well. And they're just dropping. You forget warriors just really take off after like level 35, 40. Like he's doing as much damage as like a twinked out monk pretty much. Um, so yeah, I'll swim to the top really quick. I've just thrown my pet on him. Uh, where are we? That's the Frontier Mountains zone line over there. And then I think this is east. Yeah. That's the little fort there. That's where that Sarnak career spawns for that, that ring that everyone wants. Uh, yeah, but we're underneath at that little broken temple. The Marauder spawn is down there. I think it's for a key for something. I don't know. And yeah, it's great. We're just we're just swimming around. I'm keeping my haste and my regen on him, and we're just swimming around, killing each and every one of them. We've got this whole thing under control. XP is really good. Uh, one round nets me about two blues, and we can do one round so quickly. So yeah, I would say this is like. About as good as it gets. We could probably probably get better XP in the dungeon. Yeah, look at that. We've got this so planned out. Just respawned. Oops, shouldn't have put my dog in. Um, yeah, so my job is pretty much just hasting and regening and buffing. I'll do a little bit of damage here and there. Um, and also just healing him if he gets low. They do really sustain damage. So he's not taking any big spikes of damage. So when he gets to about lower, between 30 and 40%, that's when I'll start healing him up. But until then, it's worth just letting, because he's got a fungi tunic as well. It's worth just letting the fungi and uh, my regen just do its natural thing. I'm at 100% HP, so like a big noob. But yeah, that, um, that mage focus item that I have has really paid off. Just making sure that I get the right spawn. Like, sorry, the, the, the right level dog. Because so I can just keep re resummoning him. Um, yeah. So I just wanted to get this little thing on record. Because this is a really fun little duo. I've never duoed here before. I've never even seen anyone duoing here before. But it is working out really well. Oh, ouch. <laughs> yeah, so I'll give you guys an update. I did get to level 43. Uh, trying to push to level 44, get my new pet, and then 45, I can start using my JBB. I can't remember who I was talking to. It's like having a JBB but not being able to click it is like having a packet of cigarettes and no lighter. It's it's kind of annoying. <laughs> like, what's worse? Is it worse having a packet of cigarettes and no lighter or having a lighter and no cigarettes? Because I think having cigarettes and no lighter is more annoying because you're just you're that close to being able to use it. Um... Yeah, so I can't wait for that. Hopefully this week I'll get level 45. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd just make a minor update. And I'll see you guys soon. Thanks again for watching. And I'm back. In Sol B of all places. Uh, I wanted to show off this really cool spot my friend showed me. Fantastic solo spot. If you're a solo class... There we go, just got a pop. If you're a solo class... Between the levels of probably 42 and 46 this is got to be some of the best xp you can get right right there if you're looking at a map of soul b like nagafen's lair this is a on the map so i'm like north of the window room and the pool room and i'm handling about 
eight or nine spawns. I actually didn't know. I'm just a bit of a noob. I've been grouping and root riding too much. I didn't realize that uh, being a bit of a battle shaman was still a viable thing to do. Uh, I'm using my level 39 slow, which slows for about, I think, 50%, 60%. And look, they hardly even touch me. And when they do, it's not too bad. Like that one, I totally dominated that one. My level, th uh, level, f I got level 44 as well, um, and my level 44 pet is a monster compared to the last one. He's hitting really well. He's hitting for up to 43. I think they can hit up to level, sorry, they can hit up to 45 per hit. And they double attack, and they seem to bash really often. Really stoked with this pet. So as soon as you zone in, that's the zone line right there, which is great. So if she gets haywire, I can just run straight into there. Um, there's three spawns in here. You're definitely going to have trouble breaking that spawn. Um, actually, what I did is I rooted two of them, killed one, and then zoned, and then came back. Um, and, then, and then handled the two with a pet. If you're a monk or something, you could probably handle that easily. The only thing is, the zone line is where my mouse is, is like right there. So it's quite tight when you come in. There's also a spawn that spawns right where this guy's standing. That you pretty much have to kill as soon as you zone in. But yeah, this is such a cool spot. I was hoping my friend would be on to duo with, but he's uh he's not on right now. He should be on a little later, hopefully. Um, and there's the third spawn. He just spawned there. And so these guys do run, so I'm just going to use my clicky necklace. So yeah, I did get level 44. Um, I'm going pretty hard on this level. really want to get to level 45 so I can use my JBB. Ooh. And yeah, this is great XP. Like for a mage or something, or even an Incromancer, this is, this is pretty cool. Once you had it cleared, you could fear kite in these tunnels, because there's not that many in the tunnels. And all it takes is like one round of the, the kobolds, and you know where they all spawn, so it's pretty safe. It's pretty safe. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to show off this cool little area. I'll show you all the spawns. I'll do a full, full clear. Let me just get some mana. Sorry that I'm in first person mode. Probably not the most interesting to look at. There we are. <laughs> but yeah, I had a few questions about uh, what time I play because people have been wanting to duo with me or trio with me. I actually play Eastern Standard Time. I actually live in the States. It doesn't sound like I live in the States, but I do. I live on the East Coast. So if you're looking to group up with me, I usually play like 8 p.m. till 11 or something on weeknights. Sometimes later, sometimes earlier if I can manage it. But um, yeah, a lot of people have been talking to think I live in Australia, but I, yeah, I don't. I abandoned, abandoned the motherland. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, we're doing pretty well in here. Doing pretty damn well. I'm really, really happy with my character. I'm really enjoying this playthrough. I do plan on leveling this guy up as far as I possibly can. I'd really like to get my epic on this guy. I'm going to start... I'm not sure if I've said this already, but I'm going to start... Um, I'm going to document my epic when I start that. I'm probably going to start at level 45, 46. I haven't done anything yet. But I'm probably going to document that and make like a master cut video with all the first few steps. I'm going to do all the steps up to um, the City of Mist turn in books. This guy hasn't even hit me yet. There we go. Um, and then I'm going to spend some time in City of Mist and just collect all the books until I'm exalted, I think. Sorry, I didn't mean to say exalted there. Until I am kindly, or whatever ally, is it? Ignore the fact I said exalted, how embarrassing. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we've got the three room in here, and I'm handling them so well. I had no idea that I, that I even had the ability to, to tank these like this. I assume they hit a lot harder. Um, the loot is cool. The loot's good. 
Let's have a look at my bags. Uh, a lot of fine steel, a couple of gems. You know, just random crap, like one to 10 platinum, a couple of peridots have dropped. You know, it's pretty good. It's pretty damn good. I was in here the other night, probably made like 100 plat, just leveling. And the ZEM, the Zone Experience modifier, is fantastic in here as well. Oh, and I did get a new uh, range slot. Thanks, uh, Tekken. I guess Corks now. He's playing his um, his Necromancer. Uh, thanks for hooking me up with that. I got a great deal on that. But this is a cool item as well. When I get my shield from the uh, Epic Quest, which is super easy to get, I'll have that on video in the next few weeks. I'm going to use that as my range item. With that, I'm my primary and a shield for when I'm in groups, just for maximum mana. And for some reason, I, when I'm in groups, I like having a, a shield and a spear. It kind of looks a little bit more shaminy or something. But yeah, I'm really closing on level 45. Nearly there. Nearly, nearly there. All right, so let's go for the next one. There's one that spawns just here. Okay, he hasn't spawned yet, but he should spawn very soon. And if you're a shaman or you've got the ability to shrink or you're a gnome or you're an enchanter that can turn into a gnome, you probably already know this, but you, you can look through walls like this, which is such a good thing to have in dungeons like this. That is the pool room I'm looking through the wall into right now. Uh, I, I'm not going to go in there because I think there's kobold shaman, a greater kobold, a greater kobold there, and there's also another spawn uh, just here somewhere. Yeah, you can see him there. So I'm not going to get involved in that. The Kobold Shamans are fucking tough. You can burn them. I've just been like throwing a dot on them and burning them as quickly as possible, but it takes a lot out of me, so I really prefer when they don't spawn. And especially when they have pets, because they dot you, they blind you, they heal. They heal a lot as well. I think they greater heal, which gives them like 30, 40% of their HP. And they Winter's War as well. They have the same DD as me. It's 252. <laughs> so this guy should spawn any minute now any minute now so basically like those three that I was just killing the zone ins there three spawn here and then this is like a little horseshoe thing and then you've got two tunnels that one goes into the pool room that I just showed you and then this one goes up into kind of a little redundant area and then that goes down into the pool room and then that zones back into soul A. So once you've figured it out, this is another thing I'm really enjoying about this character, like doing little dungeon crawls is because I don't know my way around these places and the only way you can learn your way around them is by being here and just staying in one spot, figuring out the dungeon, and it's so cool because I didn't actually realize the, the pool room was right there, which is connected to the window room. And I do know that area. So I'm slowly but surely learning the layout of Sol B. There he is. The like 25 HP, 25 mana dragon shoulders. The drop in that valley is I can't remember. Um, oh, and I did get a new haste as well, alacrity. I've been putting that on myself, just because there's been some fights where I felt like my pet might have actually been closer to doing more damage than me. Um, especially when he, like, yeah, see, he, he can, like, do little double hits for, like, 43. And if I get some unlucky rounds, it kind of looks like he's doing more damage than me. Which is so cool. It's so cool having a pet finally that is actually effective. Because shaming pets are never crazy, crazy good, but... Uh, yeah, I feel like as you as you slowly level, they kind of catch up with you. Oh, son of a bitch is healing it through the wall. Always hated that. That better not be another heal. <laughs> but yeah, without slow, these guys... Oh, get fucked. Okay, I'm going to bring him into this room. Hopefully the pet. Ah, this is annoying. Come on. OK. 
okay. This should be okay. Fingers crossed it doesn't, that, that stupid heal doesn't hit him from here. Doesn't look like it will. But yeah, once I've, once I've cleared this guy out. Yeah, look at that. Double 43. Pretty cool. Once I've cleared this guy out, um, I move on to that little ramp here. And there's a spawn there. There he is. I like pulling with the pet. Sometimes. Yeah, but this is just getting me more and more excited for JBB. I think I'm actually going to stay down here with JBB because I could totally control the window room once I have it. Because the only thing that's slowing me down is the amount of damage I'm doing. Like, once these guys are slowed, I can handle them for so long. If I have unlimited damage, man, I'm just going to dominate down here. So I'll definitely get some footage of that. But yeah, guys, I think I'll, I'll kill this guy and I might wrap up the video. Um... Just because this is basically the route I've been doing. There's only one more spawn that spawns in that room I pulled this guy from. And... Yeah, if it's a shaman, I usually try and throw my pet on it before he has a chance to summon his little shitty pet. Which is kind of fun. <laughs> but I think he's probably going to spawn in a few more minutes because I think I fucked up the timing on that one. So I don't want to just sit here with you guys staring into a wall. Yeah, cool guys. So thanks again for watching. And um, thanks again for all the comments and people hitting me up in game. I really appreciate it. It's cool knowing people are enjoying the videos. And I'll catch you next time, guys. Cheers. Oh. <laughs>